<laughs> Welcome back to Let's Fuck Around with Spyro, a new beginning. Third time. Yes. I'm Alex. Third time's a charm. Tic tac toe, three in a row. Well, it wouldn't have really been a charm, and th that doesn't really work for this case, because I've been doing it three times. I didn't try three times and then finally get it on the third try. Try him. It's just your face. <laughs> just play the damn game. Just play. That's Keith and I'm Jacob. No, you're not. You're lying. Okay, I'm Keith. Stop that's... lying! I'm... You're a liar! I'm Keith. That's you're Keith. lying! <laughs> you're lying! No matter what you say, Jacob. You're lying! Jacob, you are Jacob the liar. Hmm. Which was actually a really good movie. And it's Robin Williams, so I liked it, but, well. And it doesn't mean that I'm inherently going to like the movie if it has Robin Williams in it. But, yeah. Robin Williams. I don't have anything to say to that. Yeah, we were all quiet for that. Like, um, where am I supposed to go? Oh, look. Shiny. Um, since this is here, I'm guessing this is a correct path. Maybe. Now, what's on the other one, though? Crack, cocaine, and hookers. Oh, just, um, okay. Oh, it just circles around. Wait, did I come from that side? Yes, I did. Okay. Get my bearings, then. It's pretty much a bit left or right. We go the same way. Okay. Well, it's good Sandy to know. came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way <laughs> to the employee, uh, to the meeting room. Perhaps Stanley wanted to stop by the employee lounge before heading to the meeting. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> dude just, just went up and started licking that dude's nipples. The monkeys are weird. <laughs> that was really bad information right there. Racist. He's breathing fire and shit. How is it not safe? I'm not sure it would be racist. I'm thinking it would be species. Yeah. Species. <laughs> that d he didn't even fucking move. That monkey just flew. No, he He's did move. He's Siler. He did move. He's Siler. He did move. You just didn't say it. He hit him with his cane. Siler. Like a badass. It's Siler. Remember this we have being to save the cheerleader to save the world. We have to save Claire. Save, save the, the cheerleader. cheerleader. Save the world. <laughs> I don't God, I've been watching through Heroes, and I'm just on the Rebel section, and it's not. Uh, this is where the games, or not the game, but Heroes started getting bad. Like uh, which section? Rebel. I don't remember. Uh, basically, they started doing. They started rounding up people with powers, and uh, they put the. They would knock them unconscious and keep them unconscious in a bed uh, while they were researching a cure. And in order to keep people from being caught, Rebel, of whom technically I shouldn't know who he is at this point, but since I've watched Heroes before, mm -hmm. uh, I do know. Um, uh, and, what season are you on? Uh, season four. I think there were I, only five seasons. I think we were on season three or around there. Season know. one is the best. Yeah. It was really good when it started, but... Yeah, it just got shittier and shittier. Yep. And I read that they were originally going to switch uh, the cast out with every season. Mm -hmm. And that would have been such a great idea, because it would have worked so well. Nope. That was a really shitty maze. They kept it in... Yeah, they kept them because the characters were so popular. Whereas I feel that they could have done more and been more successful if they had switched out characters and let them change. Yeah. Because there are so many interesting and cool characters they introduced uh, in the later seasons. And as such, a lot of characters got pushed out of the way and such. But the unfortunate thing is, is because they kept keeping in the main characters and not switching them out, the minor characters are all really cool, but completely worthless. He's the starship Voyager. He's gonna get stuck in the Delta Quadrant. <laughs> Say, Alex, Lost. weren't you wearing that space cowboy suit a year ago or so? What castle with its? Uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. 
Oops. Didn't you wear that like five years ago? It was the actual outfit from. It was an outfit from Firefly that was integrated into Castle. Because we watched a video that uh, showed all of the points where they um, made reference reference to uh, Firefly, because Nathan Fillion was one of the larger uh, char- or the main characters, and uh, the if you had to pin down one major character, he would have been the major character in Firefly. I'm gonna say this, and a lot of people are gonna disagree and think I'm stupid for this, but I do not like Firefly. Really. I tried it and I watched it and it's just. Ugh. Your opinion? I do not like it. I thought it was just incredibly boring and just. Ugh. Door number one reviews. Get into it. I watched the entire first episode and part of the second one before I quit. And I quit because I was just bored. Why did it show you those? Mm. I don't know. I actually don't. I'm not asking that yeah. for like a hypothetical what if scenario that then goes into a cool explanation. I'm asking because I don't fucking know. Because of those <laughs> uh, statues. Fuck. Oh, so you have to put statues on those things. Yeah. Okay, I thought those were pots. Um, or, yeah, I thought they were pots sure to break they're... for items, but yeah, they're statues. I thought there was something I remembered about moving things onto those platforms because I knew they had some sort of type of significance, but I couldn't remember exactly what happened or where I got them. Um, Crystal! You know, that face actually reminds me of Cinderblock from Teen Titans. Yeah. Noted. Your necklace is catching glare from the TV and casting it right into my eyes. Thank you. Because, like, that just kept happening, and it's, like, really hard to concentrate when that happens. Okay, ow. (laughs) What hit you? Those, you know, the spikes right there. Well, you can took fall damage. He did, apparently. Uh, Hey, what are you uh, doing over there? Matt, he's spanking his monkey. (laughs) (laughs) Ugh. That's a little risque there, dude. Just a little. I... <laughs> you thought no one would see. Just <laughs> quietly leave in the middle of battle to go masturbate in the corner. <laughs> oh crap, you uh, saw me? Uh, just... <laughs> that actually hurts to do. <laughs> well, then don't do it. It sounds like masturbating, though, and it's the only way I really know how to make the masturbation noise. Other than actually masturbating, but I'm not going to actually masturbate. (laughs) You could use. I can't do the palm thing as well. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can do it with my arm really well, but. Okay, where was that that door that. Why are you still Um, making that. Ah, fuck! (laughs) Why are you still making that fuck? (laughs) Oh, there. Yeah, I saw them. Hey, look. There was a pot, and. Yeah, these are balls. Oh, okay, so it's a... Okay. These are they're, like, easier. magnetically attached to your face. <laughs> yep, they're like the snowballs. But these ones are stone. Let's My balls st- are so hard right now. <laughs> they're made of stone. Dude, let's go get Great, stone Great, if your balls raw. are so hard, <laughs> it shouldn't hurt so much when I kick them. Yeah, that, that would actually be the exact opposite in that <laughs> scenario. Because if my balls were made of stone, they could crack and break into pieces, <laughs> and shit would be more painful than just getting smacked. Yeah, that'd be a great hospital. You didn't say they were stone. You just said that they were so hard. They're hard as stone. That's in a more a literal simile. simile. In a literal simile. That's a weird... Doctor, we have a, a weird case. There was a dude who got in a car wreck, and it spun the car around, and it landed weird, and his penis exploded. Ow. Yeah. Like, it fucking exploded. My mom knows a guy who, uh, he had, like, a uh, cow... <laughs> A cow, um, he was milking a cow or something, and the he was on the ground, and something happened, and the cow stepped back and stepped on one of his testicles and made it explode. Uh, oh. <laughs> both me and Jacob just kind of tighten our I love your guys' reaction. <laughs> we both just fucking tighten our legs, like, let's keep these babies safe. <laughs> shit hurts. <laughs> like, it's very hard to explain how much that shit hurts. Unless you're another guy. I really, really yeah. like... Well, you could be another guy and never have experienced it. 
yeah. anything like that. Um, but then you can yeah. explain it very easily with just, like, one fucking motion. Just, like, reach over and punch them in the dick, and they're like, oh, and you're like, that's how it feels like. At least uh, worse when you nut yourself sitting down, though. Ugh. I've done that so many times, where it's, like, been under my legs when I sit in a chair, and it just, ah, uh, Because, like, it takes you out, and no one figures out why, because you just, you sit down, and then you're suddenly in serious pain, and everyone's like, what the fuck happened? And it's like, I nutted myself. Ugh. I tripped once and kicked myself in the balls with my heel. Ow. Yeah. The thing not to envy. I was wearing envy. shoes. thing about guys not to envy. Yeah. <laughs> Dicks are not convenient. They're not. Like, it's convenient to pee, but for everything else, I wish it was, like, a detachable penis. Just leave it at home some days. I really like, I really <laughs> like Betty White's, uh, um, a quote from Betty White about, uh, why people always say to, uh, grow some balls for if you're, uh, if you're a wuss or something. If, and instead to say grow a vagina because they can take a pounding while a... Well, yeah, your balls, balls get hit, you're fucking out. They're like one of the most sensitive parts of the Dude, body. Dude, that part of the mouth didn't load. I know, and then it did. Now we're just going with the And then he just eats sparks. Now you're going alone. <laughs> You'll be alone forever. I just ate your best friend. What now? Not just his best friend, he's his brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hate that chip. Hate that chip. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Is it made of a chocolate chip? As far chip as I, at least the last time I played this, I fucking hated the ship. I don't like white trans. But the earlier conversation was making me think of a uh, rogue Deadpool with the oh. boy. <laughs> I that, don't know what. Yeah, I don't know. Where, uh, where a rogue needed a Deadpool's health regeneration. Oh. Okay. okay. We're inside Rogue's head! Is it Dude, weird? this is awesome! Dude, is it weird that I'm turned on about this? <laughs> Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Deadpool. Yeah. The voices in the head, they're like, well, we better enjoy it while we can. Yeah. There's one part where you have to go through and save Rogue, and, um, uh, uh, when you save her, she's, like, in critical condition, so you let her, it, uh, <laughs> have direct skin contact and she kisses you and, she, and then the voices in Deadpool's head uh, switch over to hers and you get to play her for a little bit and she actually feels herself up yeah she does <laughs> stay tuned for that LP eventually when abs At like totes when abs after it's probably going to be after I do the eternal night for my break between Spyro's Did you put spick in the monkey? <laughs> take that! <laughs> oh, take it! Take it! Oh! <laughs> no, I thought it was funny after I said, Will you stop that? Take that! I know, that's what the joke I was making, Jacob. Sometimes you don't get words. Is English your native language? Yes. Because it doesn't seem like it sometimes. Nah. Because I suddenly, because sometimes I expect you to be, like, complaining, because, like, the grammar system of, like, fucking Mandarin is different, and that's why you get confused and are hard to understand. Is the ship on fire? Yes. Because the ship's going down, all on account of the weather. GP? we'll drown, there's no need to frown, because we're all going together. I like that one monkey you just killed. It was GB Falcon Singer. Okay. I'm pretty sure Alex knows that song. What? Whoa! Because the ship's going down. Because the ship's going down. All on account of the weather. And though we'll drown, there's no need to frown. Because we're all going together. Maybe if I heard it from the people who actually sing it. Mm. Um, ship's going down. I, I haven't heard that I figured song it was a kind of a reference to um, Titanic. Nope. No. Oh, it's about a sailor. No, I don't know that song. I haven't heard that one. Mm. It's been a while since I looked up Voltaire songs. But for a while I was looking up as many as I could find and 
I didn't have time to keep looking at one point. Uh, I got the entire album Bottom of the Sea and a couple of choice uh, songs from um, uh, from Nearly Human. With a single bullet, with one of my No, different song. Completely different song. God damn it! Yeah, it's not Nearly Human. I, that was just like, fun. no, just bad association, they're not even the same style. That's just what, when you said nearly human, that's what just popped in my head. And it's, can I pose a question? How do you kill what is dead? I just shoot from the hip, and I aim for the head. He used to be your friend, that was another life. Now with a single bullet, we're gonna, gonna blow his mind. mind. Cause with a loaded gun, Go. run! And a steady hand, run! We just might get through this, run! Aim for the head. Pretty much all you need to do in the zombie apocalypse. Just run, shoot. You also need food. Just do what you have to, just don't kill him unless you need to. Are you sure you're supposed to be on this ship? Not anymore, and that wasn't as bad as I remembered it being. Yeah. Of course, I was quite a bit younger at that point. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> yep, that was very fun. And we'll see you again on the next episode of Let's Fuck Around with Fire on Your Beginning. I'm Alex. Bye. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I am not bi, I am Jay. And that's Keith. I am bi. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a double entendre I didn't mean to make. <laughs> yeah, so which bi are you going by? Uh, you said bi as in B-Y-E, and I was going with that joke. And then immediately after saying it, I'm like, wow, that could also mean bisexual. And I didn't realize that until after I said it. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. The great mind of Keith. Loosh-da-la-loosh. Bye-bye. <laughs>